Welcome to Newswire, news for Nebraska's farmers and ranchers. Reducing Nebraska's over-reliance on property taxes and seeking a more balanced system to fund education in the state is a top priority for Nebraska Farm Bureau. A package of bills now making its way through the legislature would be a big step towards achieving NEFB's policy goal. Senator Tom Breezy of Albion is championing the portion of the package that would provide property tax relief to all Nebraskans. LB 243 in its amended version does several things. First, it puts additional dollars into the property tax credit fund that goes to all Nebraska property owners and is weighted towards agriculture, I might say, and weighted towards rural Nebraska. It uh, also then provides an escalator in that fund after we get these additional dollars in there. It also removes the 5% uh, cap on the 1107 on the escalator and the 1107 credit, which is probably worth on average nine to ten million dollars per year to Nebraskans. It also places generally a three percent cap on revenue growth of public schools in Nebraska, and by doing that, then we we reduce. Uh, increases in property taxes and hopefully drive down property taxes under the right circumstances. But there are several exceptions built into that to ensure that school districts can do their job. LB 243 also eliminates the taxing authority for community colleges. The combination of all these components yields a significant amount of property tax relief. On behalf of Governor Pillen, senators introduced a comprehensive package of bills focused on income taxes, property taxes, and education funding reform. But we're very interested collectively how these all move through, and as we've modeled the numbers, we, uh, we're confident that it'll be very beneficial to Nebraska farmers and ranchers, but ultimately the dollars that are put aside for tax reduction, that at a minimum, for every dollar that goes into, say, uh, income tax reduction, goes into property tax reduction as well. LB 754 aims to lower income tax rates for corporations and individuals, including farmers and ranchers. The education funding reform part of the package, LB 583, provides $1,500 per student per year to public schools as a foundation aid and increases special education funding. And it's very important when we do that, we have to ensure those dollars yield property tax relief. And that's why the cap provision in LB 243 is extremely important. These things all have to all have to work together to accomplish what we need to accomplish. Uh, but, but it is a package. It is a package of income tax relief, property tax relief, education funding reform, and they are all tied together. They all have to move together. One doesn't go without the other. But, but I am very uh, optimistic about the chances of uh, the passage of these packages, and they represent a very substantial amount of uh, tax relief uh, for our farmers and ranchers. Senator Breezy says the goal of the package is to provide $3.4 billion in income tax relief and match that amount in property tax relief. A dollar for dollar tax relief, which is what Nebraska Farm Bureau is working towards. Well, folks have asked about the sustainability of what we're doing here, but all of our models strongly suggest, all of our models indicate that this package is very sustainable. It is fiscally responsible to do this, to get these dollars back in the hands of our taxpayers, and uh, I, I will exert my best efforts to ensure that this happens. The package also includes putting $1 billion into an education future fund to help the long-term sustainability of funding public education while providing property tax relief. So I would encourage your members to reach out to their representatives and express to them the belief that this is priority number one for the legislature, additional property tax relief and income tax relief, the entire package. Farmers and ranchers in Nebraska, we've made some fairly substantial strides in the arena of property tax relief with the passage of 1107 and 873, but there's more work to be done. We still need to get this across the finish line. I would encourage your members to reach out to the representatives here in Lincoln and remind them that that still is priority number one, additional property tax relief for farmers and ranchers and everyday Nebraskans. For more stories like this, visit NEFB.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching Newswire.